Right, so we're just going to take a look at the Carbon Wonder Kits. Uh, this is the aircraft itself, which we'll have a look at a little bit later. Uh, but first of all, I'd just like to show you what's actually in the kit. Now, we'll have two types of kits. We'll have the Complete Kit and the Airframe Only Kit. Now, the Complete Kit has the, the receiver and the charger and the battery included. So as you see it here, this is the Complete Kit. And the Airframe Only Kit has uh, just these parts here. Uh, importantly, the airframe only kit does include the, the motor and, and gear drive and propeller. Uh, that's pretty much integral to the design of the, the airframe. So they're the parts in the airframe only kit. And with the complete kit, you get these three extras here. Okay, so starting off, uh, we've got the, the covering film. And uh, we've given plenty of, of film here. There's actually enough to cover the, the top and the bottom of the wings. Uh, if you desire. However, you don't need to cover the bottom of the wings, really. Uh, we've got carbon rods of various lengths and sizes, and we always try to give you a, a couple more of those, just in case you break some. So there's a few extra spares in there. We've got these plastic parts here, okay, the wing braces and mounts and the, the wing sections. These are made of plastic, and the holes are pre-drilled. We've got the undercarriage set with the control linkages and screws and connectors, velcro for mounting your receiver and so on. Uh, we've got the plastic parts, the templates here, and uh, the motor, propeller combination. Okay, so I might just give you uh, a bit of a close-up look at a few of these parts. Right here, we'll just take a look at the, the template parts here we've got. Uh, they're in a, a sheet of plastic. And these have been uh, pre-routed. You can see here we've got some routing holes, and this is where the carbon slides in. Uh, they're all uh, just clicked together, and you just pop them out, just cut them out with a with a hobby knife, and use them as you as you're doing the construction. Okay, so that's the parts. Okay, we'll have a look at the motor. Now the motor comes with the the prop adapter already. Uh, this one's got it on, inserted. And most importantly, the connector, this is a 1.27 millimeter pitch connector, uh, which is the exact type you need to go into the back of the receiver we supply. Now the receiver we supply in the kit is uh, this one here. Okay, it's on our website in the receivers section. It's this one here, the 24R6CLV11. So that's the receiver that we put in with the kit, in the complete kit. Okay, and you see the, the motor is actually pre-wired with the connector and it just connects straight in there and you're ready to go. Right, there's also the charger. This is, um, this is a red color one. The, the one in the kit will be a green color and a slightly different design, design uh, but the same thing. The, the battery that you receive is uh, just a 100 milliamp hour battery. It's got the Molex two pin connector here this is the same as, uh, as most other um, standard batteries. For example, this 130 milliamp Ninotech battery has exactly the same connector. So any charger that you have that will charge these will also charge these batteries as well. Okay, so as well as that, I'll just move this back. Okay, so we've got some other plastic parts here, the, the wing brace mounts and if I just turn this like this, you can probably see, okay, these are all already routed out so that the carbon just fits in there and the wings actually just fit in here. Okay, so they're the, the main parts. Um, also just a uh, look at the bag here. Uh, I won't open it up, but we've got uh, a number of things in here. We've got the screws, the, uh, the wheels and the undercarriage. Uh, you can see we've got uh, control linkages here. Uh, these ones here are control linkages for both ends of the control rods and uh, there's various other parts. Okay, so that's the, the small components of the kit and we'll take a look at the, the airframe itself. Alright, so here's the airframe itself. It's a, a very lightweight construction. All up it's about 18 grams. Okay, so very, very lightweight. And you can see it's, it's quite simple. All the, the main components like the uh, the 
control linkage on, on the back here are all pre-cut and it's just a case of really putting it together and you can see the instructions on the website uh, the, once the carbon frame is made it's simply covered with this uh, this very lightweight plastic and that's uh, stuck down using UHU pour glue uh, UHU pour is actually a, a foam glue but it's, it's very tacky and it's just what we need for attaching uh, this film onto the, the carbon rods okay so just taking a look at the, the receiver okay so here's the receiver and, and the battery mounted okay you can see the battery location here and the, the double sided velcro there used to mount the receiver and it's, it's all very very easy the mounting the, the motor just slides straight on to the shaft and uh, and you've got your, your mounts there for the battery and the receiver and, and it all just goes on with velcro okay so that's the the complete kit and it's just a case of setting it up uh, the only adjustment on your transmitter is for the um, for the rudder here and you need to reverse the direction on your transmitter for the rudder okay that's uh, that's why you'll need a, a programmable transmitter and also for the control surface throws on the back you can see the console control surfaces on the back here are quite large uh, so they need to be dialed down to about 50 to 60 percent on your transmitter with the throws and that's about all that uh, you need to set it up okay this one here I've got it set up so the balance point is about a third of the way back on the wing okay so on this one the balance point is, is just about here where you'd expect and that's the that's the airframe